Hi, Hiram here. I was at my local grocery store the other day, and I saw this stuff. It's called Splash Isopropyl Alcohol PX99. Uh, I thought, hmm, interesting. This may be the same stuff as the heat in the red bottle. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody could tell me. But I looked it up, got the uh, material safety data sheet for it, and it says this stuff is 99 to 100% by weight isopropyl alcohol. I guess that's where they get the Super PX99. So I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, 100% versus 91% on the isopropyl alcohol I was using. This stuff's only 91%. I wanted to see what that extra couple of percent makes a difference in something like the Flat Cat Gear ISO Clean 2.0 stove. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to duplicate the same test that I did with the isopropyl alcohol, the 91%, but using this stuff. I have my 20 milliliters of alcohol already measured out. Let me go get my water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I'm back. I got my water prepped. Let's see if I can light this. Okay, there we go with that. Oops. Now before what I did was I let it burn for a minute. Wow, that's some really yellow flames. This would make great candle stuff for seeing in the dark. You know, uh, some sort of an oil lamp versus the uh, denatured alcohol. You don't get this yellow kind of a flame. Okay, we're working on 20 seconds. What else can I say here? This stuff cost me a dollar eighty. It's a 10 ounce container, so that's a uh, 18 cents uh, one ounce load, one fluid ounce load. Well, this seems like a real waste of alcohol. But that's what I did in the other test. I guess it got it has to get really heated up. Again, this is the Flat Cat Gear ISO Clean 2.0 stove. It's made for isopropyl alcohol. You can use uh, denatured alcohol in it. I did that before. Okay, we're working on a minute. Here's two cups of water. Setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now three minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 109 degrees. Uh, I hope you can see on this camera there are little tips of yellow in places. It's not all blue like it was with the other 91% isopropyl alcohol. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's see what it does from here. As you can see, this is getting close to the end. So it's the flames are turning all yellow, and it's really sooting up the pot bad. It's only up to 207 degrees. This is kind of surprising. Get our way up to 10, to 11, to 12 at 806. What you would do now is when it gets, usually when it gets to this flaming type, this yellow sooty stuff, you would take your pot off right then and it would save on the sooting. Now it's already too late. But uh, another thing I forgot, let me turn a light on here. I did forget to put my heat barrier underneath this. It's been a while since I did this test. But I'm not real happy with this. It's still burning. But, wow, talk about soot. Man. Now on the last test, where I used the isopropyl 91%, it took 8 minutes 24 seconds for it to come to a boil starting at 60 degrees. But that subtract the 1 minute of uh, warm up time and that made it 724. In this case it was 8 minutes 6 seconds subtract the 1 minute comes out to 706. So this was just a little bit faster but what a mess. Hmm.
I mean, I was going to dump the water out and let's see how little soot there was on there, but this is going to be ridiculous. Surprise, it's still burning. I didn't mark down a time of when it ran out before, but I probably took the pot off the flame so that it didn't soot up the pot. Not that I have a big phobia for soot, but it does get messy, and if you can avoid it, it's a good thing. Okay, I think that's about ready to run out. Let me just... Nice boiling water there. Yeah, that's still going. That, now it ran out. Wow. Look at the soot on that. And it wasn't that... I mean, it wasn't that it was at the end. It started flaring up yellow. What, like a minute before it ran out? That's surprising. I would have thought... No, maybe not. I was going to say, I would have thought that the higher percentage of methanol, <coughs> or not methanol, higher percentage of uh, isopropyl alcohol would burn cleaner. But then I remembered I have had people telling me that they mix water with this to dilute it even more to try to cut down on the uh, sooting. So maybe that would be the thing to do. You carry 100% methanol, or 100%, <laughs> see, I'm so used to using methanol. Use this 100% isopropyl alcohol and just add whatever water you want to it. You'd have to carry less weight with you, especially if you had your campsite was near a stream or something. I wonder if the fumes are getting to me. But that was the Splash Isopropyl Super PX99, the isopropyl alcohol. I think it's the same thing as the heat in the red bottles. Never used it. Just thought I'd try it here. So I thank you for watching. I hope we got something out of this. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Boy, do I have a job coming up here.